and Catherine Lanasa is here. She is one of the stars of jo Jane Mansfield's Car, which is having its gala premiere tonight here at Roy Thompson Hall. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. I was just trying to convince Dave to give the milkshaker that I just gave to him yeah. to you. Why? Yeah. As a wedding present. Because Catherine just got married, for heaven's sakes, and it's a perfect wedding present. Yeah, my Dave's man face. needs milkshakes. <laughs> Do you think that a uh, milkshake maker is a perfect wedding present? Well, I know my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a good enough of an answer. I thought women didn't want appliances. I, like I didn't even want appliances as gifts. I like appliances. I'm, I'm actually pretty domestic. Oh. But did you have yeah. a big wedding? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got to mention wedding. who she married as we're right. talking about all this. Catherine married Grant Show. I did. I nabbed that if anybody guy. Anybody has him. ever watched Melrose Place, I'll mm. tell you what, when he was dating Jenny Garth at the end of 90210, yes. they did the crossover. I know the whole deal. You know, I never <laughs> saw Melrose Place, and I actually did the Melrose Place episode of Seinfeld, where I play a cop that's dating Jerry that doesn't believe that he's never seen Melrose Place, and I have still never seen Melrose Place. Oh, I wanted to actually ask, ask you, because I saw that on your curriculum vita, what, uh, the Seinfeld connection. That's the one. Mm -hmm. That's where you were. That's the one. So you dated Jerry. That's a riot. I dated Jerry on the show. On the show. <laughs> on the show. He was actually dating Shoshana at the time, so I think I was a little old for him. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. right. Well, congratulations <laughs> on, the, on the nuptials. Now, Thank Jane you. Mansfield's car. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. It, it's not about necessarily exactly what it sounds like. No, no. It's kind of a story about people. It's people. different now. <laughs> it's a story about people. But it takes place in 1969, and it's a clash of two cultures. Our mother um, left our dad, Robert Duvall, who's playing as usual, tough guy, great Santini self, and so she moved away and married a guy in London, and she's died, and this British family has to bring this their mother back to Alabama where she wants to be buried. So it's like these Londoners come to rural Alabama yeah. in the late 60s. And it's also kind of about bo both of the boys, Kevin Bacon and Billy Bob Thornton. Listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> are screwed up from the war. Kevin Spacey's in this film. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> uh, but there is. Like, there, you're going to like just where's Waldo a man here and there. This is it. It's a back, fault I have of CGI never being him. able to admit I'm wrong. He's a good actor. He should have been in this. Kevin Spacey. Been. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent actor. Uh, but the thing is, uh, Billy Billy Bob Thornton has some weird personal connection to damaged automobiles. Yes, his dad was a guy who would go to wrecks and like he said he and his brother would have to like stand by like the side of the road while his dad stared at a windshield in a ditch and tried to figure out how that windshield got in the ditch. So he put that into Duvall's character. Who's a crash scene and best veteran crash investigator. No, he's actually just a guy who likes to figure things out. It's a really touching oh, moment yeah. where he asked John Hurt, he goes, do you like to figure things out? And he's like, not so much. He's like, I like to figure things out, you know, and it's just this yeah. it's beautiful. What was it like watching Billy Bob? Because he has some strange idiosyncrasies. He's so intelligent, so talented, but it must be something to have him as your director. He was so great. Everybody, Bobby said at the end of the movie that he hadn't had that much fun on a movie in yeah. 20 years. And Kevin Bacon likened it to working with Eastwood. We loved him. Yeah. And he he's loves wonderful. the South. He's a Southern boy. And I am were too. Shooting. You, oh, yeah, I'm okay, from Louisiana. You're yeah. So I was just so thrilled to get the movie. Mm -hmm. If you're a Southerner, nobody makes a Southern movie like Billy Bob. You know it's National Peanut Day. Is it really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had an ad lib, which I don't think is in the movie, where I give some directions. I'm like, and then you pass by Billy Bob's boiled peanuts. They eat boiled peanuts in the South. Why? Are they it's, good? It's kind of like a precursor to the ed edamame. Is that how yeah. it is? Yeah. Yeah. Edamame. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's kind of like that. It's a legume. Oh. The peanut is a legume. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But down home thing, and I suspect something, or maybe not, that was a, a different experience was playing uh, the wife of Will Ferrell in the campaign. That was really fun. Like, seriously, how do you keep a straight face? You don't. Actually, that was the big challenge. And Billy, uh, we were talking about it last night. He said he had the same thing on Saturday Night Live. Because Will will just go off. Half the movie where you see us together, it's improvs. Yeah. And I would, sometimes I would cross behind the camera. Like, I would be, walk out of the scene and turn around and have to keep doing my part for him. And I would just be crying and my, just mouthing like, <laughs> because I couldn't stop laughing. I was just shaking. I would stare at him here. Because if I looked at his face, I would laugh. I so would just, that's the trick. There if you, you go. stare at somebody there, right. it's good also if they have facial deformities or lipstick <laughs> on their cheeks. <team. laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, if you just stare right there. American political <laughs> wives, though, you know, we sit up ab yes. above the border here and we watch that whole process yes. occur. And yes. the convention speeches and all of this yes. stuff. I mean, those are really... Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but they're pivotal roles. Those, yes. those American political I based wives. her on Sarah Palin, Hillary Clinton, um, 
uh, Cindy McCain, yeah. Mrs. Romney. Yeah. yeah. Mrs. Right. Romney. Mrs. Romney. Mrs. Lots yeah. of material. Yeah, that's Lots quite a material. Mrs. Perry, I heard an interview with Mrs. Perry during the Republican uh, primaries. That was. Was it as classic as Mr. Perry? She was just talking about all the wives and how oh. they get along. And I just loved it. <laughs> Perfect accent. The movie is called Jane Mansfield's Car, and it's uh, having its gala premiere tonight. Roy Thompson Hall, Catherine Lanasa, thank you so thank much. You guys. All the best yeah, with the films you. and with the brand new marriage. Thank Great you. to see you.